I was walking through the forest yeah. and I was approached by Prince Apollo of the Court of Wonder. And uh, he he came at me and he said some threatening sort of banter, sort of you know, established his superiority over me socially, as though that is any indication of what would happen if we were actually to scrap. But his station being what it was, there was no chance for me to remain in the forest. Had I successfully managed to defend myself, I would be discovered over the prostrate body of a prince of the Court of Wonder, and that would be the end of my either life or freedom, I assume. And so I did what made the most sense to do, which is run. Are you hurt? How are you feeling? Oh, um... You seem very casual after being shot. Well, the, the prince's aim, uh, let's just say that he was relying much too much on the draw of the bow. And so the arrows were coming straight. He did not, art. if he had been a better archer- How are you feeling? Are you hurt? It does hurt. I will just walk alongside <laughs> uh, Deloso de la Rue uh, and say, uh, multiple offers to join courts. As far as I'm concerned, I'm an orphan in the fairy world, which is not unfamiliar to me. All this talk about courts and belongings, I feel torn, to be honest with you. There was a part of me that wanted to dismantle all courts. <laughs> well, that would be chaos. Would it? Well, if there weren't courts, the then how would you know what to do? Or how to, you know, that you wouldn't... <laughs> where, 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 where would orders come from if not from one's obligations to, to court and kin? And for what? Why? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm starting to realize something that you and I are, are very different. I have done very brash things governed by my heart, while you have done things based on your court and your obligation. Ultimately, where does obligation land you? Are you truly happy with the things that you've done for the name of other people, for the well-being of others? We all act in the interest of others. It is not wrong, it is the basis of honor. And, and to act in one's self-interest alone is to lead an empty life, I think. I, I, I can only say that the other night, the masquerade ball, you certainly acted in the interest of others. You showed me incredible kindness and, and made me forget the blundering of earlier in the bloom. You you took pity on someone whose clumsiness had earned them scorn and reprisal and... What made you think that was in the name of others? And what happens when doing something for others comes in direct conflict with the things that you want to do? I can see no alternative. Honor, responsibility, duty to one's court and kin has led, I would never have come here. I would never have met all these fine people if I had not acted on behalf and in service of a cause greater than myself. I became captain thanks to the actions I took on behalf of the Goblin Court and I became major only this morning when I agreed once again to serve the Goblin King. Well, I, I hope you find happiness in that. I really do. And I turn and walk away. Cousin. Yes. I think Hobbs been stabbed again. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he does? So oh, I've been stabbed in the corners of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Clear blood. <laughs> I rush over. I can lay on hands again. Um, just hold well. me, just fucking uh, hold me. Just fucking hold me. It's not, I'm, I'm doing it, but it's bounding back. <laughs> 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 I've never had this before. Uh, what are you? Uh, <laughs> wait. It's still stabbing oh me. <laughs> 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 Because it's deep in your heart still. It's yes, the arrow went straight to my freaking heart. <laughs> <laughs>